Uh, YouTube, Will with Will Done RC, doing us a little morning flight here. It's about seven o'clock a.m. We've got hardly any wind on the windsock over there. I think they said it was about six, seven miles an hour. So uh, we've got the Aeroscat out here. So without further ado, let's get this thing up in the air and have a little fun for this morning flight. Everything's checked. Throttle cuts off. If you guys like these morning flights, give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, it helps grow the channel. Leave me some great comments also. We've got some awesome looking clouds out here. And also hit that notification bell for all so you know when I'm posting new videos. We got a lot of projects coming up. I just had to get out here and do me a little morning fly well it's nice and calm out here the elevator's working great dude I figure I better get out here before that sun starts coming up. It's supposed to be high 90s today, which isn't too bad. It's a lot better than triple digits. They said it was supposed to be in the 80s this week, but not so lucky with that.
Oh my gosh. Almost caught that pole. Luckily I didn't though. Woohoo! Jeez Louise. I was just testing that elevator out to see how much pull I got on it. I'm just running high rates, 100%. I think it's pretty loopy. Posted a video about a week or so ago when I flew the uh, carbon cub in the Aeroscout. In the late evening, I think it was. And I was trying to get a hundred video or a hundred likes on that video. And then I was going to bring one of my 64 millimeter jets out here and try to fly it, which definitely is out of my comfort zone. So you guys try to find that video, help me get some likes on there. You guys share that video, we can get 100 likes. I'll fly one of my jets out here. I'm pretty sure I can fly it out here. It's just the landing that's gonna be the bigger thing. They don't slow down as much as these prop planes do. I hope you guys can see that all right. I'm trying to beat this sun here. Actually, when you think about it, since I changed both the rudder servo and the elevator servo, this thing has performed a lot better, man. I might have to go ahead and change over the ailerons too.
Yeah, she feels like she's getting low. Back off a little bit. Let that battery rest a little bit. It's cruising about 35, 40% throttle. Just cruising. I like it when there's lighter wind because you can really slow these things down and just coast around. Preserve that battery. I did charge up four batteries. I'll probably only do two, maybe. Just depends on how traffic is here. There's my battery. So we're gonna come in and land. What up? All right, I'm gonna get this battery swapped out and then we'll go for another flight here. So I'll be back. All right, we got this next battery in here. I'm trying to get this other flight in before this uh, elementary school traffic kicks in. Okay. I think I got it here. All right. Everything's checked. Let's get it. Let's get it. About half throttle. So you don't have to juice it to get it off the ground. Just get a little speed going. It does sound pretty good on a fresh battery.
Looks awesome on those clouds. Little box. It almost disappears. I know you see a lot of people do all the left turns, but I mean you gotta you gotta work both sides of the stick. You know what I'm saying? Because you fly both ways. So I try to get some lefts and some rights. figure eights over here. Oh, feels so good out here, man. Usually, uh, about two or three weeks ago, come out here in the morning to do a flight and that's already 95 degrees and you ain't even seen the sun. It's crazy. Be 90 degrees at night. Now we're getting into the at least 80s at night. We'll gliding. sound. Is that my radio? Batteries getting low? Trying to work on my four point turns, they're just a little harder to do. Unless you got your plane perfectly CG. But I'm working on it. I'm trying to do different stuff, you know, like that little square that I did a little bit ago on the first battery. That was pretty fun. I enjoy flying so much, man. I just like to fly some different planes, too. But I either gotta get to the soccer field or the airfield to fly some of my other ones. I mean, I could fly the carbon cover of this one here pretty good. 
but it's just going to take one time to fly one of my jets here and see that I can land and with no problem and it'll be on. We'll start flying some jets here. That's only like, well, I don't know how fast that was. I'm going to guess an average of about 40, 45 at full speed. My jets, my 64 millimeter F-15, it's about 70, 75. So there's a huge difference. And this lands at like 20 miles an hour or less compared to 40 or 50 that the jets have got to come in at. Flight's a lot of fun. I was going to try to do a, a uh, hover right there, but it doesn't want to hover. It must not have enough power in it. There's a plane out here that can hover. The wind's starting to come from my left out of the north. Out of that way. So hopefully we'll have a good, a good approach. Go ahead and come and land for the sun peeks up from behind this tree and blinds us. Try again. See if we can come from the other side this time. Don't hit no trash cans. Nice. Grease up, baby. All right, YouTube. That is the Arrow Scout. Everything is functioning properly. Nice, fucking beautiful morning flight. All right, throttle cuts on and check. All right, you guys. Man, that was fun. I love it when I have a flight when I'm not just, oh man, just so nervous to even have it in the air it's nice to have a nice comfortable flight so you guys